This is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting, and really happy with this find yesterday. A New Zealand five cent coin that is rotated. So you hold it at the top and the bottom, so everything's upright. Flick it around, and yeah, the queen rotations. So that's cool. I like that. Awesome. All right, so that was yesterday. Today, a little bit different today. Got uh, $1 rolls, a couple of 50 cent rolls, and a couple of 20 cent rolls. So I'm just about out of coins. And uh, this is coming down to the end. So here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Pokemon. Nice. Yep. Get into it. Hey, Angeline, how's it going? Get the one dollar coins all lined up. Game Arius, morning or evening, where you are in the world. G'day, Heather. Archie. G'day, Ace. Good, thanks. How are you going? Well, thank you. Good afternoon. Nice. Hey, Q for Quokka. Great Aussie coin hunt. Got a little bit of discoloration down here on the coin, but I like any of the Great Aussie Coin Hunt coins. So this one's from 2019 and a price range between about three and eight dollars, but this one's a bit more worn, but I still hold on to it. I like it. How are you going? Well thank you. Do you do you the other one dollar coins to buy lollies and stuff? Oh do you use the other one dollar coins? Um no all the coins I drop in the bag here I take back to the bank and I put them through the coin deposit machine at the bank, which puts the money back in my bank account. So no, I don't I don't use it to buy lollies and stuff. G'day Eve, how's it going? I think quokkas are the most adorable little creatures they are cool, aren't they? It's like they're always smiling. <laughs> the quokka. Thanks for the gifts, Jeffrey. Lauren, hey Michael, how's your day going? Good, thank you. Good, good. Went for a bit of a walk and then I had a phone call with someone I need to have a phone call with and then sent an email off to them. And I thought, oh, what do I do next? I've got a few things to do today. I thought I'll do a coin search. I usually do a search at this time, so I thought I'll do that. All right, Newcastle lost the finals today, and I'm a bit upset about that, but not that. Ah, oh, that's no good. Oh, sorry to hear that about your, your footy team, your soccer team. Um, Archie, cool coin you found the other day, Royal Australian Mint coin. Yeah, it is a cool coin, isn't it? It's still sitting here on my desk because I like it. This one here, the Royal Australian Mint Australia. Yeah, that was cool. Very happy with that. And I'll probably leave it there on my desk so I can look at it and appreciate it. I like to sort of leave out coins that I like. That's why I've got a fair few coins just sitting all over my desk because I sort of like to be able to sort of look at them. How are you going? Well, thanks, Eve. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I was similar, Eve. Um, a few weeks ago, my team was playing in the NFL, which is the American Football Grand Final or Super Bowl, they call it. And um, yeah, my team just went down at the end, so we, we lost at the end, so a bit of a... But we were winning most of the match too, so we are in a pretty good position. But um, yeah, know the feeling when your team doesn't quite come through with it, but... Life goes on. Tilly, what's the average selling price on an Australian mint coin? Uh, do you mean this one here that I found? One of these sold for about $15 on eBay uh, not too long ago. The, in uncirculated condition, about $40 is the book value on them in you know perfect condition. But just depends. Yeah, your voice is amazing. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> no, we were down to nil down from the beginning, but still played well. Oh, that's good, yeah. Bit of damage on this one. That's just post mint damage. Heather, my team didn't make it to the Super Bowl, so I rooted for the Chiefs. Ah, <laughs> okay, yeah, I was going. I'm the Eagles. I broke for the 
Philadelphia Eagles. But I do like the Chiefs. The Chiefs are good. If I if it wasn't my team in the Super Bowl, I'd probably have been going for the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes. Very good player. Very good player. Do you know about Turkish Lira coins? I have loads of them around 1990. Are they still valid? I'm not too sure. I don't know much about coins from overseas, unfortunately, so I can't really guide you, but um, I'm pretty sure you just use euros over there in Europe, but ooh, I don't really know. Do you watch Formula One? No, I don't actually learn. I used to watch it, but it was, it used to be free to wear, which means that it was just on television. You didn't have to pay any subscriptions or um, you could just watch it on TV whenever it was on, but um, then it all went paid and stuff like that and I fell off it a bit Callum never thought I'd be so interested in coins and still till I started watching you keep up the good vibes thank you Vids thanks no worries Callum oh now this coin here is a 2014 it's most likely an Anzac design but if it's got kangaroos on it it's only there's only one million of those minted so I'll definitely hold on to if it's got kangaroos oh it's the Anzac one do you have any American coins? Yes, I do. Yeah, yep. Okay, let's do some, do a rotation check. No rotation. This is the most relaxing thing. Love it. Ah, it is, it is relaxing searching through coins. Do you do anything with coins from the UK? I just hold on to them because I'm a collector, but um, I don't come, I don't get many UK coins or US coins and things like that. So it's only if people have been traveling overseas and they come back with some and hand them on to me. Yeah. Jam Ryan, I just found a black Canadian toonie for the Queen's death. Have you seen one yet? No, I haven't seen one. Sounds cool. Morning, Michael. Good day. Have you ever watched Law and Order? <laughs> years and years ago, I have. Yeah. What about you, Eve? Do you watch Law and Order? Please, can we do a guess the year? Yeah, okay, let's do a guess the year on this coin. So what we do is we look at this coin and we go, okay, what year do you think this is made? And then you have a guess and you put it in the comments down here. What do you think? Do you recommend it? Oh, it's been a long time since I watched that show, Eve, but yeah, it was probably <laughs> maybe 20 years ago, so I don't know. I'd, yeah, I can't really recall it that well. And um, yeah, so have a guess. I'm going to guess... 2012 2012 all right in five seconds i'll reveal so five four three two one go oh 84 first year they were produced oh, i appreciate the gift there thank you let's scroll back through the comments and see if anyone got the right year oh 84 jay well done jay anyone else yeah jay you got it bang on 1984 was the first year they started minting $1 coins for circulation. Can you say hi to my kitty? G'day, kitty. All right. Last $1 coin roll, and then we've got a few other rolls to search, 50s and 20s. Wow, surprising guess. I thought I was way off. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's hard to pick them. You are lovely. Very good life. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. I tell Um, I live in the UK and I have a King Charles 50 pence. Nice, nice new coins. I don't know why, but I love your videos. They're just so relaxing. Cool. Thanks, Joey. How long have you been collecting? Oh, cool. Thanks for the gift there, Heather. That was a cool, colorful fish. How long have you been collecting coins? About five years. About five years. Whoops. Didn't collect that one. Go, James. Oh, 
last lot of $1 coins for this search is a Socceroos coin from 2022 Rare. Um, about 2 million of those minted, probably. Anyway, the mintage figures haven't been released, but they usually do about 2 million of each of those designs. Have you ever cashed any in? Yeah, I've sold coins, yeah. yeah. But I hold on to coins and I've sold coins over the years, yeah. I haven't been as focused on selling my coins recently. I haven't said I needed to, so. All right, that's the $1 coins done. Let's go on to the 50 cent coins. I've got two rolls of 50 cent coins to be searching. How do you get into this? You go to the bank and you get some coins out. And then you start searching through them for the things that you want to hold on to. Um, collecting is totally up to the individual what they want to collect. But if you're looking at selling, I've got coin lists through the link in my TikTok account of um, recent selling prices of coins and um, the mintage figures and some rare coins, pictures of some rare coins and also the colored coins, pictures of the colored coins as well to look for. So that's a good guide. I, I use my lists all the time just to refer to. And um, yeah, so they're available there. No, but how did you originally get into this stuff collecting? I found a coin years ago that was a colored coin and I thought that's interesting. So I put it aside and then I heard them talk on the radio about that particular coin that it was worth about $6 to coin collectors. And I thought that was interesting. So that's what sparked my interest. And then I did some learning from there. That's how I got into it. Since seeing the coloured coins, I want the US to have some now. Yes. Yeah. yeah There's a fair few different coloured Turla coins. This one's got a little bit of the, a um, little bit of an error on it. So at the bottom of this row, I've got a blob of metal there. That's not supposed to be there, but it is. Um, can add a little bit of a, a dollar or two on top of that one. Keep on going. So, so far we've found a quokka. Quokka $1 coin. What makes a coin expensive rarer? Um, yeah, it's supply and demand drives price. So coin collectors are the ones that um, buy them. And supply and demand usually drives price. So um, if there's a low supply of a particular coin, then the price is usually a bit higher. And if there's a lot of demand for a particular coin, the price is a bit higher. So that's usually what drives it. These coins here can have a little bit of a higher value. They're a bit of a higher mintage coin, but I think they've got a, a little bit of an interesting design and so on. So some prices on this windmill coin. Um, $1.50 to $6. Yeah, but that one's in pretty ordinary condition. I'll probably let that one go. You don't look for the Fat Australia on the 2000 ones? No, I don't tend to, no. Alright, this one here. Student design from 2004, $1.20 to $10. Aren't you just getting free money or do you have to give them to someone else or something like that? Oh no, you have to sell them to people on, to, you have to sell them to coin collectors if you want the higher values and you sell them on places like eBay and Facebook groups and stuff like that. So yeah, you've got to um, put in a little bit of time to list them and yeah, you, you can't just take them back to the bank and the bank gives you the higher value. That's, um, yeah, it's not the way it goes. Does the Aussie Coin Hunt coins have one for every letter of the alphabet or just a few letters? No, one for every letter of the alphabet, yeah. And they've done that across three different years, three different great Aussie Coin Hunts were have been so far. All right, so we've got two rolls to go. We've got a 20 cent roll. Two 20 cent rolls to go. What's the rarest coin you've found? I found three wavy baseline 20 cent coins. They could be worth up to five and a half thousand. But the ones I found were pretty worn, so probably in the $300 range. Um, oh, wavy baseline? Yes, let's see how we go, Eve. See if we can find a wavy baseline here. Very unlikely, but we will search. We will look for it. So it's a 1966 coin. 
I love finding these centenary of Federation 20 cent coins too. So uh, they're 2001 coins and the different states and territories had a different design on them. So, but they're getting very hard to find those now. Seventy ones are a low lower mintage, so it can hold a little bit more value. So some prices on a nine seventy one twenty cent coin, a dollar twenty to fifty five dollars. So we want in perfect condition sold for fifty five. Does the quality of the coins affect the price? Yes, it does. Yeah, yep, definitely. So the better condition coins sell for a lot more. Um, I'm not sure if this one, let's check on my list, 2019 JC 20 cent coin. A dollar 45 to $4.40, bit of a lower mintage, yeah. I remember a while ago where you lamented selling your two wavy bosons, glad you found another. Yes, that's right, yep. Do you have any lists for UK coins? I don't, but there are some books and things that have values for UK coins. If you follow uk.coin.hunt, he will be able to point you to those publications. Yeah, uk.coin.hunt is the TikTok channel that knows that. Greetings from Germany, g'day, g'day. Is there something online that tells you the value? like? your books yeah like some of my lists i've got coin lists that you can jump on ebay and search up individual coins and then filter your search to sold items and that'll pull up a list of what's sold recently and that's that's probably the best way to go because that's that's what's actually been selling and you can see what people are actually buying them for because people can list coins for whatever they want to list them for but it doesn't mean that anyone's going to buy them at those prices so looking at the sold prices is a fair indication of what people are happy to pay for them. I once found a coin whilst gardening and had a Henry VIII on it. Ooh, kept it. Nice one, Amelia. Nice one. Any list for Euros? Um, I haven't got any list for Euros, unfortunately. Sorry. Yeah. But there's a book. There's a book. I'll show you the book. Um... This was last year's version. There's a 2023 version, I think, but Lecterm Catalog Euro coins and banknotes. And this has all the different Euro coins in it um, and values and things like that. But it's a it's a very thick book. So yeah, if you're looking for Euro coins, maybe search that book out. Lecterm Catalog Euro. All right, these are the coins that I put aside from this search. Q for Quokka, Great Aussie Coin Hunt, 2019 happy with that we've got a bit of an error so a little blob of metal on the bottom of the robe of this gentleman here that's a little bit of value these ones here a little bit higher in mintage but interesting designs so I put those aside 1971 low mintage 20 cent coin and a low mintage a 3 million mintage on these 2019 JC effigy of the queen with the necklace on. That's the newer effigy of the queen. So in 2019, half the coins had the older effigy and half the coins had the newer effigy. And that's why this one's a bit of a lower mintage, this one here. Okay, let's have a look. Find of the day for me, maybe the quokka. The quokka, something a bit different. Q for quokka. All right, I'll check a few comments and then we might wrap things up. Uh, let's go, Marish too. Nice one. What is the most valuable coin you own? I don't really know. I haven't checked the values on all my coins recently, so I'm not too sure. I know, right? These videos are so massaging my brain. <laughs> um, I do too, Marish. I don't know anything about Australian currency. Laugh my ass off. I find this very relaxing. Cool, cool. What's the most valuable coin you own? Oh, I think I answered that once before. All right, there we go. Um, cool. That's the end of my search. So hopefully you will have a great day or great night wherever you are in the world. And um, yeah, follow my account. If you're not following my TikTok page, follow along. Plenty of videos and stuff like that come out each day. Um, yeah, cool. All right, have a good one, everyone. And we'll catch you again soon. Bye.